Hi, everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Seb. All right, Seb. So, in day one of our article, we met a guy named Luke, and、mm -hmm. he's traveling through France to experience the country's best food, of which there is a lot. Right. His parents are from Vietnam. Right. And. Because of the history that、uh, that France and Vietnam has,、right. he actually has family in、mm -hmm. France. Okay. So he goes to France to、uh, find out more about this food culture、mm -hmm. and how it's influenced the country where his parents grew up. Right.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So you did mention that he has family there. So、yeah. we saw that he actually meets up with his cousin Laurent, who teaches him about a lightly cooked fish with a coconut sauce,、mm, which sounds delicious. It does sound、yeah. delicious. But、mm -hmm. who does he meet next? Well, next he meets Eve,、mm -hmm. who is not one of his cousins,、right. but what、uh, they are is one of France's best butchers.、Mm -hmm. And Eve teaches Luke all about beef tartare. Right. Okay.、Mm -hmm. So we kind of saw in the article that、um, in France you probably might make this dish with chicken eggs or hen's eggs, but Luke gave the beef tartare a little bit of a Vietnamese twist or a special Vietnamese flavor by using quail eggs.、Mm. All right, now that's basically what we learned in day one of our article. But we are not talk done talking about food by any means. So let's find out what happens in day two. Reading. Luke wings France. When Luke is not tasting and preparing delicious food, he enjoys being a tourist. On a long walk, he accidentally comes across the Palais Royal, a metro stop that's decorated with colorful glass beads. Entering the station is like walking into a fairy tale world. Next stop after the metro. Is one of Paris's best bakeries. Luke tries their top seller, a macaron that's the size of a hamburger. Inside, it's filled with fresh raspberries, lychee, and rose petals. Luke can't help smiling as he enjoys every bite of this sweet dessert. Later in the day, Luke sets out to learn the secrets of French-style baguettes. He learns that the perfect baguette must be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Luke watches how it's done and then returns the favor by making a Vietnamese sandwich for his teacher using a baguette as his bread. He mixes garlic, chili, and tofu with fish sauce to create a sour and spicy dressing. After that, he pours the sauce on goat meat. And slowly roasts it over a fire. The end result is a spicy sandwich that represents the best of French and Vietnamese culture. So, when Luke is not tasting and preparing delicious food, he enjoys being a tourist.、Mm. He enjoys being a tourist. You know, seeing the sights,、mm -hmm. know, maybe going to the Eiffel Tower,、mm -hmm. taking lots of pictures. Trying out the local food, of course, you know、mm -hmm. all of that. Right,、mm -hmm. I actually love being a tourist. Me too. I try not to dress like a tourist. I put my map away and、mm -hmm. keep my camera in my bag instead of around my neck. But I do love to see all the sights and eat、mm -hmm. all the food.、Yeah. All right. So Luke is out being a tourist. He's not in the kitchen right now. It says here, on a long walk, he accidentally comes across the Palais Royal, a metro stop that's decorated with gla colorful glass beads. Wow, sounds beautiful. I've never seen it, but I will probably go and look at a picture of it、yeah. later.、Um, so let's find out a little bit about what happened to him here. It says he accidentally comes across this metro stop. Now. Accidentally is an adverb, and when something happens accidentally, it was not meant to happen, or it was not what you intended to happen. Or another way we could say it: you did not want something to happen in the way that it did. It was an accident.、Mm、hmm. There's another useful phrase in there too. 
come across,、mm -hmm. and that's a verb which means to find something by accident.、Mm -hmm. uh, so this is usually something new.、Mm -hmm. You know, we can come across an interesting new store on our way home from work.、Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't looking for the store,、mm -hmm. but we noticed it on our way home and decided to go in. That happens to me quite a bit. Yeah,、mm. I'm always well. That's what happens when you're a tourist in、right. your own city,、yes. doesn't it? Yeah.、Mm -hmm. um, we can also come across someone.、Mm -hmm. So、um, I came across an old friend on my way home from work.、Okay. Again, we didn't have plans to meet up,、mm -hmm. but I was walking down the road and there he was. Okay.、Um, so that's actually kind of like our example sentence、mm -hmm. in a way. Elisha is the best singer I've come across since I started listening to pop music. Okay. So I wasn't looking for the best. Best pop singer,、mm -hmm. but of the ones I've heard so far,、mm -hmm. she is by far the best. Okay,、mm -hmm. okay. So come across basically just means to find something by chance.、Mm -hmm. All right. So let's find out what he did find, kind of by accident here. That's a metro stop. Now, metro is another word for subway, and in Taiwan we would call that the MRT, the underground train. Sometimes it's kind of overground too in certain sections here, but the metro is not really. This word is not really used in the U.S. or Canada, but you will hear it a lot more in Europe, in the U.K. or Australia, New Zealand. Actually, in London, we call it the underground、mm. or the tube. Right. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So the next sentence、mm -hmm. is: Entering the station is like walking into a fairy tale world.、Mm. A fairy tale.、Mm -hmm. How magical.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So this word is used as an adjective here,、mm -hmm. but normally it's a noun. Right. A fairy tale is one of Those stories your parents may have read to you when you were really little.、Mm -hmm. They're full of magic, castles, dragons, and princesses, and they normally have a really happy ending.、Mm -hmm. uh, we can actually use fairy tale though to mean something which is magical or really, really good.、Mm -hmm. So people can talk about planning a fairy tale wedding, for example. They're perfect, or you know, their dream wedding.、Mm -hmm. Or if their life is going really well, they could also use the, the next example sentence.、Mm -hmm. Guy's trip to the Philippines was so amazing; he felt like he was living in a fairy tale. Oh, that、mm. sounds great! Sounds like the perfect holiday.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Of course, Luke is never far from food, even if he is being a tourist. So、mm. it says, next stop after the metro is one of Paris's best bakeries.、Mm. Now, this is exactly where I want to be、yeah. in the best bakeries. And you know, France、mm -hmm. is known for making really、oh, good baked goods,、yes. isn't it? Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So, what does he try? He tries that. Luke tries their top seller,、mm -hmm. a macaron、mm. that's the size of a hamburger. What? Yeah. Wow. That's、oh. that sounds like a big macaron because、yeah. macarons、mm -hmm. are not normally the size of a hamburger, are they? Right. No. They're another tasty piece of vocabulary, though.、Mm -hmm. um, it's a sweet. It's a noun, and it's、mm -hmm. a sweet.、Uh, it's a French treat that's made with lots of sugar、mm -hmm. and looks like a tiny burger. Right. But normally they're about the size of an, a golf ball. Right. Yeah. Not pretty, too pretty big. Pretty small.、Like、maybe about the size、um, of a normal cookie. Maybe a bit smaller. Yeah.、Mm. Little, little ones. Right.、Um, and you often see them in the windows of fancy bakeries、mm -hmm. in lots of different colors, or as desserts in fancy restaurants,、mm. like in our example sentence. The waiter brought Sophie a plate of tiny macarons arranged beautifully on a silver tray.、Mm. Sounds pretty classy. It does.、Yeah. You know,、mm -hmm. it, actually, you can see macarons、uh, quite a bit in Taiwan now. I, oh, can you? I don't know if they taste the same as the ones in France. I've、mm. never actually had a French macaron, so I'm not sure. But、um, what I do know as a baker that is that、uh, macarons are actually supremely difficult to make. Are they? They are. They Mm. They require a lot of precision and patience, and、uh, mm. I've never actually been able to successfully make them. So, really, yes, it takes quite a bit of skill to do it. But let's find out about this hamburger-sized macaron that he tries, which. Sounds like a little bit too much sugar for me, but I、yeah. imagine it was delicious. It says here, inside it's filled with fresh raspberries, lychee, and rose petals. Okay, so three 
very lovely things in there. Yeah. First, let's find out what raspberries are. Raspberries are、uh, soft, sweet red berries that grow on a bush. Now, you can find these in Taiwan sometimes. Depends on the time of year.、Um, if you go to like a special import grocery store,、um, they commonly grow in Canada and in some parts of the U.S.、Yeah. Now, actually. Wherever I live in Canada, it just doesn't matter where I am in the area that I am, and they they just grow wild. So you can oh, do they?、Mm, you can、mm. stop on the side of the road and kind of pick them off bushes. Same with strawberries and blueberries as well. I love so that. In the UK, is... we have blackberries,、mm. which are you know very similar. Right.、Um, so next,、mm -hmm. uh, the next ingredient in the macaron is、uh, another one of my favorite fruits, a lychee. Okay. Okay. So、mm -hmm. it's one of those small round fruits. That has rough red skin on the outside、mm -hmm. and sweet white flesh on the inside. Right. So this one, I'm pretty sure you're more likely to see in Taiwan. Right. Very、yes. common、mm -hmm. uh, in Asian grocery stores,、mm -hmm. in some desserts. They are delicious. Right. In fact, they've got my mouth watering right now. Mm. Mm, all these things do. Yeah. Okay. So. We saw fresh raspberries, lychee or lychee in the in the macarons, and rose petals. Now, a petal is one of the small colored parts of a flower that's shaped kind of like a leaf, but it's a lot smaller than the leaf.、Mm. Now, you can pull the petals off and use them to decorate things. So, at Valentine's、mm. Day, you might see things decorated with red rose petals, that sort of thing.、Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next, Luke can't help smiling as he enjoys every bite of this sweet dessert.、Mm. So here we have a grammar point: can't help smiling or can't help but smile. Right. When you can't help doing something, it means that no matter how hard you try, you just can't stop yourself from doing it. So you know it's so tempting, or、mm -hmm. it's so good, or it's so exciting that、mm -hmm. you've you've lost control. Yeah. So actually, Erin, last night I ate two whole pizzas. That's a lot. It's a lot,、mm -hmm. but I just couldn't help myself from eating them.、Mm -hmm. They were just—they tasted so good, and、mm -hmm. I just couldn't stop. Right. Now I can't help but feel bad for having eaten so much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, you could have had a good cheap lunch today. Exactly,、mm -hmm. I could have saved some for later. All right.、Mm -hmm. Well, Luke can't help smiling. That's kind of sort of like Luke has to smile because、mm. this dessert tastes so good. But he is done with his sweets and he's on to a new phase here. It says later in the day, Luke sets out to learn the secrets of French style baguette. Mm. All right. Now, when you set out to do something, you basically start doing something. You start an activity. You start a task. That sort of thing, with a particular aim. So, by doing this thing, you hope to achieve something in particular. So, what Luke sets out to do is learn how to make French baguettes. Now, a baguette is a long, thin loaf of bread that is very common in France. You will actually see baguettes in most bakeries in Taiwan as well.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and he learns that the perfect baguette must be crispy on the outside、mm -hmm. and soft on the inside.、Mm. So here he uses the word crispy, which is an adjective, actually one of my favorite adjectives、mm -hmm. when it comes to food. We use it to describe any food that is hard. But breaks easily when you bite into it.、Mm -hmm. Think of some nice salty potato chips or mouth-watering fatty bacon.、Mm. Both of these are crispy.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so our example sentence for this is: Simon fried the chicken in lots of oil until it was golden brown and crispy. Now、okay. you have just described、mm -hmm. three of my favorite foods:、mm -hmm. fried chicken. Nice mouth-watering fatty bacon and salty potato chips. Who doesn't love them? I think I am、mm -hmm. a crispy food fan. All right. Yeah. So we know that the bread needs to be crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. So it says here, Luke watches how it's done and then returns the favor by making a Vietnamese sandwich for his teacher. Using a baguette as his bread. Now, if you know much about Vietnamese sandwiches, you might know about the banh mi, which is a delicious sandwich made 
in baguettes. All right, but what Luke has done here is returned the favor. Now, a favor is something that you do for someone to help them in some way or to be kind to them. So, someone teaches Luke how to make a baguette. So he helps the other person by teaching them how to make a Vietnamese sandwich. With the bread, now they both want to be kind and do something for the other person. Here's another example: I did Chelsea a favor and helped her carry her heavy grocery bags into the house. Right, so、mm. those heavy grocery bags were a lot to carry, weren't right. they? Right, yeah. So、mm-hmm. you you did her a favor. Right, and、uh, going back to Luke, he did the favor of、mm-hmm. teaching him how to make the ban mi. By mixing garlic, sorry, he mixes garlic,、mm-hmm. chili, and tofu with fish sauce to create a sour and spicy dressing.、Mm. So now he's cooking with garlic.、Mm-hmm. This is an herb, and you've probably seen it before because it is used all over the world. In fact, I can't think of a single type of cooking which doesn't use garlic.、Mm. Garlic is a small white plant that fits in the palm of your hand. Very small,、mm-hmm. and it's made up of little moon-shaped pieces, which we call cloves.、Mm-hmm. It's very smelly and has a strong flavour that sticks in your mouth after you've eaten it. You don't want to be standing close to anybody who's just eaten a big pile of garlic. I can tell you that.、Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, with our example sentence, the chef chopped two cloves of garlic into tiny pieces and then fried them gently over a low heat. All right. Well, garlic. Of course, is not the only ingredient in this recipe. He also used chili. Now we did talk about chili sauce in day one. Here, let's find out what chili is. A chili is a small red or green pepper that is actually just used to add a hot or a spicy flavor to food. Okay, so、mm. you might see tiny little red peppers or green peppers, and they're usually quite hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love spicy food.、Mm-hmm. Spicy. That's an adjective, and it's used to describe any flavor that has a hot, burning effect on your mouth.、Mm. So dishes from places like India,、mm-hmm. Mexico, Sichuan in China,、mm-hmm. all have very spicy flavors. Okay. Me, one of my favorites is mala hot pot、mm. or mala huo guo.、Mm. Um, But not everybody likes spicy food.、Right. For example, in our、uh, example sentence,、mm-hmm. Sonia couldn't eat her mother's cooking. It was so spicy that she felt like her mouth was on fire.、Mm, that Too, sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, very hot, very、yeah. hot. All right. Well, let's find out what he does next. So he's got all of these things mixed together for a nice dressing. Then it says, after that, he pours the sauce on goat meat and slowly roasts it over a fire.、Mm. Okay, so it's just getting better and better here.、Yeah. What he's done is he's poured the sauce on. On、goat meat. Now, when you pour something, you make a liquid go from one place to another. For instance, you might have a jug of water. When you want to put some of that water into a cup, you pour the water from the jug into the cup. Here's another way to use it. Could you pour me a cup of coffee? I need a nice hot drink. Oh, that sounds so good right、mm-hmm. about now. Yeah. Okay, so roast. This is our last verb of the day, and it's a very slow way of cooking something,、mm-hmm. usually meat or vegetables. We roast something by putting it in the oven and cooking it at a high temperature for a long period of time, anywhere from thirty minutes to two hours.、Mm-hmm. In the UK, one meal that we traditionally eat. Every weekend is called the Sunday roast. Right. It's normally a big piece of chicken or、mm-hmm. pork that we serve with lots of roast vegetables, potatoes, and a salty sauce called gravy.、Mm-hmm. Delicious, like our example sentence. Dad slowly roasted the pork over an open fire until the whole house was filled with the smell of cooked meat. Okay, so、mm. I know I've just eaten lunch, but I think I'm going to have to go back out and get some more food、yeah. because it says here the end result is a spicy sandwich that represents the best of French and Vietnamese culture, and. It does sound delicious. It sounds fantastic, right?、Mm. So 
Now, definitely going for French and Vietnamese food in the next few days,、uh, just to get all of those flavors of for myself. But we are all finished talking about Luke's French adventure, so let's finish up with today's for you chat. Okay. For you chat. Okay, so Erin,、mm-hmm. let's talk about our favorite foreign foods. Okay, so what is your favorite type of foreign food? Um, well, I'm a big travel for food person, so、mm-hmm. I actually have quite a few favorite foods. Um, I love Thai food. I、mm. love. Uh, Mediterranean food, but my favorite type of foreign food is Japanese.、Um, oh. I have loved Japanese food f- since I was a young girl.、Um, I could eat, I could eat, 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 eat Japanese food all day. In fact, sometimes I travel to Japan just because I want to eat the food. It's、mm. so easy to get there from Taiwan that you can just go for a weekend to Osaka or kind of just hang out and. Get some food and get some Japanese culture at the same time. I just can't get enough of it.、Yeah. And there's so many diverse,、mm-hmm. different flavors for、right. you to enjoy. Right. Me though, I love Mexican food. Okay. Yeah. There's just so many interesting and original flavors to enjoy because、mm-hmm. it's such a big country. Right.、Um, they can be sour, sweet, spicy, or salty.、Mm-hmm. One of my favorite dishes is called crispy pork carnitas,、mm-hmm. which is a kind of roast meat. Mm-hmm. Which is shredded or、mm-hmm. torn into lots of different, lots of、uh, little pieces.、Mm-hmm. After that, you can put it into tacos. You know those little、mm-hmm. hand-sized sandwiches, right?、Uh, into a burrito,、mm-hmm. or even as a topping for your nacho chips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you really can't go wrong with carnitas. You can't. No, you cannot.、Mm-mm. Yeah. All right. Well, lots of amazing foods out there: Mexican food, Japanese food, Thai food, Taiwanese food, Mediterranean、mm-hmm. food. So、mm. many to think about. But you guys get to talk about those now because we are all out of time. So we will have to see you next time. So for English for you, I'm Erin, and I'm Seb. Bye bye. Bye bye. Luke wings France. When Luke is not tasting and preparing delicious food, he enjoys being a tourist. On a long walk, he accidentally comes across the Palais Royal, a metro stop that's decorated with colorful glass beads. Entering the station is like walking into a fairy tale world. Next stop after the metro is one of Paris's best bakeries. Luke tries their top seller. A macaron that's the size of a hamburger. Inside, it's filled with fresh raspberries, lychee, and rose petals. Luke can't help smiling as he enjoys every bite of this sweet dessert. Later in the day, Luke sets out to learn the secrets of French-style baguettes. He learns that the perfect baguette must be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Luke watches how it's done, and then returns the favor by making a Vietnamese sandwich for his teacher using a baguette as his bread. He mixes garlic, chili, and tofu with fish sauce to create a sour and spicy dressing. After that, he pours the sauce on goat meat and slowly roasts it over a fire. The end result is a spicy sandwich. That represents the best of French and Vietnamese culture. Vocabulary review. Crispy. I love the fried chicken from this restaurant. The skin is nice and crispy. Favor. If you help me out with this project, I promise to return the favor later. Garlic. This bread has garlic on it. It tastes good, but it makes your breath smell bad. Spicy. Wendy doesn't like spicy food and won't eat anything that's too hot. 
pour. Be careful when you're pouring that water. Don't spill it. Roast. The beef needs to roast for an hour. So here's a snack while you wait.